We've got Uruguay now with Esteban Meneses and Andres Vilaseca. First question, please. Bueno, para los dos, felicitaciones por el triunfo. Eh, y bueno, ¿qué, ¿cuánto pesaba la mochila que, que salió? Before this victory, it was really uh, hard and heavy to have, to have the responsibility in that match to uh, play as a, a favorite. We uh, prepared to uh, make to put our footprint on history against Italy and against Namibia. In, in Italy, uh, we were not successful, but at uh, no moment this team uh, lost her hope in itself. Uh, we knew that mentally it would be difficult. But we uh, were really uh, trusting our game and the line out and the scrum and the mall. And starting from that, we could open our game. That's why we came. And that's exactly what we managed to do. We knew what we had to expect. The objective was us, and uh, we knew that they were about to give everything, but we managed to uh, make the difference. I would say the same thing. Obviously, it was our first match as a number one team. And uh, well, everything that uh, involves, that it involves in uh, such a match. Uh, Uruguayan is more at ease when he's not favorite, but now we could make the difference and prove what we were capable of. Maybe it was not the right start, but we, we talked about the fact that for them it was their last uh, match and uh, we were their target. They uh, would look after their uh, first victory, but we didn't and we never uh, lose our temper. We never lost our temper. I think we were, we were losing by uh, the, at half time, but uh, we knew that it was due to our mistakes and that we had to uh, modify that to manage and go for victory. Our leaders um, motivated us back, and we managed to uh, show another game, uh, other uh, skills. And then Namibia lost their discipline, and we managed to have our opportunities. Our uh, forwards did a really fantastic and great job today. The week was uh, really tough. We played against Italy, but what did you uh, work? Or did you change some strategies? Did you change any strategies? And now uh, against the All Blacks, how do you project yourselves at a mental level, especially? The mental and the awareness of the situation, that's the most important thing to know where uh, we were exactly, we lost against Italy and we became a favorite. To accept it and to maintain uh, this pressure, we sat in our own uh, place. We had to accept this pressure and we, have, we had to play with uh, this pressure, under pressure. Uh, my uh, forwards were fantastic, they did a great job and they helped a lot. But we knew where we were, we could identify that, and we could work on that basis. Even though we had lost, and because we wanted to win, we were a favorite, and we were responsible. We took 40 minutes. We were let score in the half time, but the second half time went uh, really well. Mm, 
what is clear now is that we are going to celebrate what we uh, talked about during the week is that Uruguay had only three victories in the World Cup history. Now it's the fourth one. That's huge. That's really very important. So we wanted to overcome what we lived against Italy. And uh, Namibia was our last uh, objective. And the team really understood it uh, really well. Now we are going to end the World Cup and all the teams dream to be able to dream against the All Blacks in a World Cup. So we are going to enjoy the next match against the best team in the world and be happy, enjoy the week. It's our last week all together. We don't know if we will be able to play again uh, in a World Cup, so that's the perfect uh, last game, and uh, it's not difficult. It's so exciting, it's such, such an exciting game. As a group, the, the players and the staff are going to celebrate this victory and uh, get prepared, get ready for next uh, next match against New Zealand. What happened at the, uh, the in the beginning? There was uh, there was an interception that changes everything, obviously. But you couldn't find any answer. You opened uh, three times with a lot of pressure, a lot of uh, handling errors, and then it started all over again, uh, starting from the fixed formation. And so. Why? What happened? Why, why the, the team was lacking answers, answers back? I think we wanted to win the game too much uh, right from the start in the first three minutes. And obviously, uh, that's the reason why we uh, made mistakes. Uh, even though, as you said, uh, with uh, the try uh, after the interception, but we managed to um, re-enter the game, and that's what—that's uh, the the important thing. Logically, uh, we could have, we would have liked that uh, doesn't happen, but it's not a surprise. As Ferret, we well, we fell into that. We did that mistake, but finally we we overcome uh, that mistake. So that's the most important. And now we are going to see. Uh, well, well, so we saw how to uh, get out of of it, and we could uh, work hard the way we wanted to to work, and play. So we played and worked a lot. We. The players, the leaders, the captain have uh, maintained their control, uh, maintained their calm, so it's uh, pretty positive. Sincerely, we didn't lose our temper, maybe from the outside, uh, it was another uh, feeling, but uh, during our first uh, line out, we uh, managed, we, we prepared it, we worked uh, on it, and the first mistake, we take uh, seven nils. So it's obviously not what we uh, had prepared, but even at 14 nil, I, I see that the, the team was able to, to move forward. And I'm really happy about that today because we could we could demonstrate we could show our big character. A few years ago, I think it would have been more difficult for us, but now at the at the moment we knew that it would would uh, have been longer that we would have uh, worked hard under until the very last minute, and we are. Uh, we were hungry for a victory. We we really wanted to uh, to win, and we uh, we were successful. Obviously, we would have liked it to be a, a different, but uh, we have the victory, and that's the most important thing. You are in a process of growth. I could see that against France. 
you almost played under the the same level of especially in, during the first half today was the the opposite so for every uh, single match what will you uh, take away what will help you to to grow as a team uh, i think it shows that we are working well working hard and uruguay Uh, is expressing uh, his rugby. We wanted to uh, win two our two matches. We didn't manage that, but I think Uruguay is writing the history in this World Cup. We played uh, game matches against Tier One teams, France and Italy. Uh, these are a Six Nations uh, team, so that's uh, what we. That's what uh, shows our uh, match, our game, our game, our the way we play. I think we need to ask for more uh, matches. I think the preparation since 2015, 2019 has been uh, evolving in a good way. I think those last three games uh, show it. I have no doubt about that. We missed very little very little to to play uh, even better we had all the skills we managed to revert the the score and the the beginning was uh, difficult we have we are going to face a huge challenge against the old blacks but we still want to play this way we want to keep on uh, playing like this and writing the history uh, during world cup the captain of namibia said that what they need is uh, to create a franchise just like the South American teams. What can you uh, tell us at, uh, to what extent uh, the development uh, since the last World Cup helped, how uh, the franchise helped since the last, uh, the last World Cup, the fact to have professional rugby players. It helped a lot, obviously. When in 2020 we started with Penarolis and the uh, franchise. Obviously, it uh, changed everything, the whole country, Uruguay and Chile as well. And the number of players in Argentina, uh, the rugby in South America changed from 2020 up to uh, today, 2023, where we had a big group of professional players. At some time, we only think about the economical uh, aspect, but time and the quality in training. <clears throat> Our stadium is the first level uh, stadium. We can really uh, work properly in the stadium. That really helped us to be here, to be in that level. <clears throat> the Sevens Rugby had just lost for World Series. We are going to uh, participate in the Olympics. 46 reg professional uh, rugby players in support, and um, it's the first time I can see that. There's no doubt about it. That is the solution. As the players need to go and play outside. We are talking a lot about the T2 uh, competency, but I don't know if rugby will change and evolve. Uh, it sounds difficult to me, but I think we will have to find two solutions. Either the player will find a higher level and so far so good, it's working fine. Uh, way beyond Peñarolis, I think they will have, there'll be uh, Uruguayan players playing in great uh, international leagues. Uh, we're leading uh, half time and a little bit after half time. Um, did they play better than what you expected? Um, and or did you feel like you were maybe underperforming up till that stage before they got the yellow cards? Without any doubt, we knew that Namibia 
uh, was playing uh, its uh, last match and the possibility to win the match it was their main uh, goal uh, we knew that it would uh, would be hard it would be tough they have a really high level staff and the, the Namibian team uh, studied us a lot they knew how to uh, hit hard on us and how to uh, defend against us but we managed to uh, open the way to the victory and regarding the the red card once again there are three uh, hits three contacts with uh, the head it's a really difficult situation because we are working on that because obviously it's about the uh, players' health and the health of the players is our uh, main priority. We need to uh, get rid of these kind of, uh, of actions and situations. With the TMO revision to the, the bunker, us as uh, coaches and them as players really need to focus on not to uh, hurt and injured and to provoke injured injuries on, on the players. There's a big evolution, but regarding the intensity of the contact, I think it's becoming more and more dangerous. And the contact head-to-head, uh, -head, um, we must get rid of uh, those head-to-head -head contacts. We must learn how to play in, in this way.